Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 45, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords, the, the ever-increasing <laughs> title size. <laughs> All right, we landed on Nar Shada. We met some new friends who will fix our ship when we get a chance, and um, we're on the hunt for information. Uh, we need to find Coden, one of the uh, the local drunk drunk dealers, junk dealers, to retrieve an astromech droid for uh, IT or sorry TT thirty two. We need to get the gear so that way uh, we can get the Ebon Hawks ID signature changed. We were since it's in our quest log, we're probably going to run into some new and fun issues with uh, Quello about the Ebon Hawk. And what else was there? There, there was something else. Uh, sooner or later, we got to find something about this new fuel source. And no, that's not it. Yeah, I thought there was one other about uh somebody else saying something about uh the the bounty hunter coming from Narshada. All right, I guess that quest is either finished or missing or both. All right, where shall we start? Do we st Let's start with this guy. The bounty hunters have been laying low recently, like they're waiting for something. Uh-huh. Uh, you're named, so you're probably important. <laughs> you're brave to walk here, ex-Jedi, and landing on Nar Shaddaa, you've stepped into the quiet dragon's jaws. <laughs> Is that a threat? And who are you? I am Vasek, once of the Bounty Hunters Guild, now no longer. You have nothing to fear from me. Okay. Uh... How do you know who I am? Much information has reached Nar out of you. Not many will recognize. Uh... Oh. Wait. Is there law? Yes, there were oaths to the bounty hunter's creed, honored in blood. There were laws to hunt to hunt some bounties once upheld no longer. Oh. What laws do they uphold? Contract is honored. They're not to attack each other if they're chasing the same prey. So if they're all hunting one person, they couldn't attack each other? <laughs> Yes, and that's why they all hunt uselessly. Someone is playing them for fools. Uh, who are some of the prime bounty hunters? There are many. Smugglers men has become their home. An entire nest of gand. Okay. But they won't say who they've come here to hunt. Strange perspectives on life. On hunt. Okay. Uh, who else? Twin sons, two twilight slaves from Ryloth. Oh, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> two beautiful twilights are hunting me. How's that bad? Uh. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody's going to like that answer either. All right. Hmm. What option do I give? Sounds great. Two beautiful Twi'leks are hunting me. How's that bad? What if I wanted to kill the other bounty hunters but still have the Twi'leks chase me? Um, I can handle them. Anyone else? The Zerg brothers? 
cast out for attempting to wipe out a family. There are hundreds of their kind, not grouped by blood, but by their cause, who claim they're a new family. Okay. Series of hunter droids. <laughs> There's always an R, Mira. They will hunt each other until the son of the system dies. Ooh. That sounds interesting. I really wish she spoke English so I could hear the name pronounced. Hanar? Hanar? A beast, a Wookiee. Brought from a mid rim world near my world. Uh, oh yeah, we're back to the slaving of the Wookiees. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're really telling me that the dangerous is Wookiee, uh, especially when he's angry? Like, I don't know. Yes, said he killed his own tribe, but no one knows for sure. Oh. I almost want to go back to the, uh, the, the Knights of the Old Republic 1 and double check what Z's brother was named, because that, that was an R, an R, right? Wasn't he the one who, who instigated all the trouble on Kashyyyk? I'd have to go back and look at that one. Because they do seem to be tying Knights of the Old Republic 1 and Knights of the Old Republic 2 together in some very interesting ways. Uh, I, I'm sure it, it's at least half because uh, the, the different game dev on a very short schedule started with the code for Knights of the Old Republic 1. And it's a lot easier to create story ties to object models you already have on hand. <laughs> Uh, but, sorry, but, uh, I'm going to have to double check that. And that will bring up the question about Mira. I don't remember a Mira, but I, I, I'm, I'd almost want to go back and check that one too. Once a slave, captured by an R. Oh. Yeah, I don't think she, okay. Still. All right. Uh, why is she one of the best? Oh, she doesn't kill what she has to. Respects the hunt. What about her? Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. Uh, forget it. I got other questions. Oh, all right. So. You sound as if you hate the guild. Membership in the, gu in the guild is name only. Most are killers, assassins. Something has taken their hunter's heart and twisted it. Those of the guild no longer take pleasure in the hunt, only the kill. Bounty hunting has become murder. Hmm. You mentioned the guild had laws. Yes, there were oaths to the Bounty Hunter's Creed, honored in blood. Um, you got something you didn't tell me about? Nope. Alright, I got other questions. So, you're no longer a Bounty Hunter. I hunt no longer. The scent no longer drives me. The guild has killed it, as sure as they have killed their pledges and their oaths. Okay. So, where can I find the guild? You cannot. There's no base, no territory. Scattered throughout Nar Shaddaa and the galaxy. Okay. Um, what can I do to make them show themselves? <laughs> Credits are the blood that beats in the heart of every bounty hunter. Make enough trouble, get a price in your head, make it so high the scent drives them mad. Oh, oh, I, I think I'm good at uh, making people mad. That, that doesn't sound very comforting. <laughs> Nothing is gained without risk. If you see danger, be prepared. Yeah. Cause trouble, make someone mad enough they no longer care whether there's a truce among the hunters or not. 
I might be able to manage that. So who should I make mad? Easiest is the exchange. No one else has the credits. It's like baiting a Wookiee. <laughs> you'll succeed, but unlike you'll, you'll have all your limbs at the end. Ouch. Ah, uh, forget it. I had other questions. Alright, uh, how do you know who I am? I've been meaning to get to that one. Oh. Okay, never mind. We, we've already been down that road. Alright. That's it. I think I've got the lowdown on everybody that's after me. Oh, the stink here in the refugee sector is worse than the rest of Narshana. Alright, uh, so that at least gets me the lowdown on who's after me and how. Come on, open the door. Alright, what is next on our list? Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Uh, your ship? I know the story of how that came about in Knights of the Old Republic 1. And I'm pretty sure I know how it got to me, but I don't remember you. Uh, what makes you think it's yours? It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid-Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. Oh. <laughs> if you couldn't hold on to it, then you don't deserve it. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, no. If you don't get out of my way, you'll be dead. Unless you want more trouble, I'd leave. You're not taking the ship. If you can prove it's yours... The registry's 34P7JK. It's got a temperamental hyperdrive, and the turrets can be sluggish and unresponsive... That's every ship you end up piloting. She's also got two secret compartments, one in the cargo hold, right near the plasteel cylinders in the back, and the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. Um, can I buy it from you then? No deal. A ship's worth its weight in spice on Narshada, and nothing's worth being trapped here another year scrounging freight jobs. Hmm. All right. If it's yours, I'll return. You going to challenge it. That makes things a lot easier. Are you sure you wish to do this? If so, we will be forced to remain on this moon until we can hire transport out. No hard feelings, I hope. Don't worry. Hmm. You shouldn't have any trouble finding transport off Oh, yeah, says so the guy who can't figure out how to get transport. Uh <laughs> Not at all flying the Ebon Hawk is like painting a target on your forehead. I'm not doing you any favors. I'd rather have a clean conscience than a stolen ship. No, if the ship is yours, then you deserve it back. I'll be going now. Get used to the solid ground beneath you. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to keep ownership of it very long. Those, those are obvious, obvious light side points are obvious. Alright, uh, you got anything useful to say? Alright, before I go down into the refugee sector, let me finish my circuit of this place here. I want to see what else we got before we go too much further. And what's behind this door? Oh, lots of people with guns. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all here. Hey, I've seen these two before. I told you two dozen cases. What am I supposed to do with two? Translate better? I don't know. You are going to pay me for the two. Okay. This looks like it's about to get ugly. Or do I just wait until, uh, leave none alive? What do you mean, leave none alive? What did I have to do with any of this? I didn't do anything. Alright. This won't take long. It's, uh... 
Oh, no, everybody's health is okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Um, I have no ranged people. Oops, I should probably get another heal in there too. Wow. So that happened. Huh. And all we got out of that is a med pack. And... Nope. Just a med pack. Interesting. Well, I guess that gets me notoriety with the exchange, doesn't it? Ooh, a Mandalorian combat suit. Well, I think I've already got one of those. No, I got a light combat suit and some sort of heavy... Oh, that's light armor. That's kind of nice light armor. I might have to see who else could use that. that that's definitely a between-stream kind of equipment reshuffling. What else we got? Plasma grenades. Not what I want, but I can use it for parts to make what I want. And, uh, who are you, good sir? You have the look of a human who's looking for no cred junk deals. Only good cred weapons, good cred armor. No cred line. Okay. Many customers waiting. Yep, I can totally see the line out the door. <laughs> I don't see any customers waiting. <laughs> I, I sense you have something uh, against the Rodian. Calm down. Oh, Greta. Dealing business, huh? Uh, what if... What if I could talk to her? Uh, what if I could make that happen? <laughs> okay, so you can give me a good price. Discount off weapons and armor. Alright, let's see what you got. Okay, okay, no deal until it's done. I gotcha. Oh, you're not even going to talk to me until it's done. All right, fine. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Um. Background noise? Sure, let's go with background noise. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. Hmm. Uh, so alive, but desperate. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. That's no life. <laughs> um, is there some way to heal it? I might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Yeah, but I'm not interested in manipulation, but healing. Have you learned nothing? Healing is manipulation, mm. and if you do not realize it yet, then you will discover that an act of healing depends largely on your perspective. Manipulation from a certain point of view, propelling events or selected ones into motion, 
It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the hmm. truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Feel life as it is, with the crude matter stripped away. Maximum force points increased. Ooh, nice. All right. Um, before I do anything else, let's go ahead. And, yep, I am sure I want to save the game. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a little cut here. So we're going to take a break on the live stream. And if you're watching later on YouTube, then I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.